When I was hiking the Appalachian Trail in 2021, a pretty big snowstorm hit right before we got to Roan Mountain and it ended up hailing. It was pretty intense weather. So I ended up getting off the trail at Hughes Gap with Gushers and going into town. Um, when we got back on trail, we got dropped off a little bit further up trail and I never ended up hiking that section. So in April of 22, I went back to get those miles as what I called the Yellow Blaze Tour. Hey, hey, it is April 2022 and it is a very exciting day because we have started the Yellow Blazing Tour where I'm hoping to hit every single mile in the AT that I missed. Um, and we're starting with Roan Mountain. I'm really excited about it. So we just drove through Irwin. We saw Uncle Johnny's and guess who's with me? My dad! Also, my puppy, Roni. Roni, say hi. Her name is actually, actually she's named after the Roan Highlands. So it was very fitting that her first big hike on the AT is going to be Roan Mountain since that's basically what she's named after. Um, it has been um, a really pretty day. It should be really pretty tomorrow when we hike. Uh, there's been a lot of craziness to get here. This one was up all night with an upset stomach so I didn't get any sleep and I hope that she sleeps well tonight because we're staying at a hostel that allows dogs so that's super exciting but we are getting into Mountain Harbor um, in about 30 minutes um, we might check out the food truck I'm excited for dad to try the breakfast there because it is so good and I don't think I did a tour last year of Mountain Harbor uh, so you probably didn't see that in my videos I'll try to do that while I'm here River and then up here is Uncle Johnny's and then that is where you come down when you're hiking uh, into Irwin. You come down this huge mountain and it spits you out right up there. So this is Uncle Johnny's right there. Somebody wrote a book about the AT and it was called Chasing Spring. How's it, Dad? Going great. I am here at the beautiful mountain harbor. I don't know if you can hear me because the creek is really loud and really beautiful. Um, we It was so fun. I got here and immediately saw a friend from trail last year, Jill. It was great to see her. Um, and then Roan's been a big hit with all the hikers. So it was kind of crazy and awesome. And we ordered a burger. Um, so things are great. We're going to get up tomorrow and start hiking pretty early we're gonna have the breakfast first guys you gotta have the breakfast at mountain harbor it is like change your life experience so i can't wait for that it's gonna be great Ronnie yes. boo Ronnie boo hey you having fun here's our yummy burgers ron's excited Ronnie, no pause on the table girl So I just woke up, got ready, fed Roan. I'm going to find her little treasures she left this morning so I can clean those up. And then we're gonna have the best breakfast ever here at Mountain Harbor, up in that building, that beautiful house, is where we'll have it. This is a new camp chore that is not a very fun one. Ugh. That's gross. Roan has to be in here while we eat breakfast. <laughs> She doesn't like it. You don't like it, do you? You're only gonna be in there for an hour. You'll be fine. Not even. You'll be okay. Then you're gonna go for a hike today. We're gonna go for a hike today. Yes. Taking the steps too. The best breakfast ever. If anyone is wondering, does Mountain Harbor's breakfast live up to the hype? I actually think there needs to be more hype around it because it's literally that good. I've literally thought about it every day for a year. No, not that long, for nine months. 
Dad, are you excited? Oh yes, big day. Big day. Big day. Mountain Harbor, here we are. All right. Morning, morning. Welcome. All right. <laughs> Here is like the coffee tea bar and they even have little biscuits, little sugars, sugar cubes. Oh my gosh, so good. They have all kinds of little things. You can get maple syrup, jellies and jams. And of course you can buy these beautiful Mountain Harbor pottery mugs, very cute. Shannon and Mary David. This is yeah. Mountain Harbor and this is the best house ever, Shannon. Tomato pie is fun. Oh, is this the tomato pie? Yes. Oh, it's so good. Everybody loves the tomato pie, so I, I really, I really enjoy it. That's good. That's probably the best. Yeah. Yummy. Yeah. Well, thanks for cooking for us. Okay. <laughs> Hello. 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 Mary. Trying to hide. What's your favorite thing to make here at Mount Harbor? Oh my goodness. I've been making it for 20 years, so, you know, it's pretty just whatever. It's the best breakfast on trail, but it's the best <laughs> breakfast I've ever had in my life, so. Asparagus, peach, a strawberry, strudel here at the end, our fruit, and some homemade fudge, and some blood orange uh, cake, and uh, some uh, Godiva pudding uh, tarts here. Kind of a curry Check it out, there's Miss Jill. One of my day ones. Yeah. This is so cool being here at Mountain Harbor and seeing all my friends. She gave Making me my new trail friends. Name. Yeah, Dad and I gave her her trail name, which is Trail Mix. <laughs> so we're having a great time. Um, some, some great through hikers here, and we had the breakfast, it was so good. Getting ready to head up. So, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go to Hughes Gap. Then we're going to get shuttled to Carver's Gap and we're going to hike back over Roan Mountain. We're going to see the really cool shelter on top and then we're going to go uh, back to the car at Hughes. So that's the plan. It should be a great hike. Uh, see how Miss Roney does and I'm really excited. I don't know if I can move after that breakfast, but it's going to be a great day. All right, we are on our way up to Hughes and there's only one thing we're worried about and that is having enough gas. <laughs> What's the tank on, Dad? It's a little bit below a quarter of a day. <laughs> yeah, we have, we're on a mountain road, so um, we didn't really realize that we're following somebody for a shuttle, and there was a lot of logistics, and we didn't realize that we needed to get gas. So, we're holding our breath, hope that we get up there, hope that we can coast down, and Roan is resting up. She's going to be ready for the hike. Uh, do you have any final thoughts before we hit the trail? Just saying that there's no leaves on the trees up here yet. I thought we've got green back in Chattanooga and rhododendrons are thick here. So it'd be nice to come back in June when they're in bloom. It'd be a really nice hike then. True. I'll follow the stream and beautiful drive. Yeah, it's really pretty. Must be a cabin. It's a little cold. Oh, it must be a cabin in there somewhere. No, maybe it's a camp spot. It's all this state park, so probably a camp spot. My Nike's back on. Oh, I thought I was I hiking shoes. these. I thought you were hiking those shoes. You had them longer. <laughs> no, I'm putting, I'm putting these, these bad boys on. There she is. It's Roll Mountain, famous for anything? Does that mean it's a... Um, I don't know. It's famous for naming my dog, I guess. <laughs> What's the man I said? Their name was dog was wrong. Ain't named after this. A rhododendron gardens. Up that way. Look, there's still snow. Oh, yeah. We might have should have brought cleats, but I didn't think about it. I did think about it, and I didn't bring them. Did you just say they failed? Did you hear people fail? Oh, great. Snow? Great, great, great. Up these mountain roads. All right, we have parked at Hughes Gap, and we're about to get in that shuttle and go to Carver's. be a defect. Um, I'm next to my door, so I, I leaned into the door and I said, Ruby, did you hear that? You're a deep <laughs> And the look on her face was priceless. Uh -huh. It's beautiful. Yeah. Just think, you're going to be one of the youngest ones that 
been hiking on AT, you know? There's something good again. Yeah. yeah. What's their, what's their angle? Yeah, what's I their angle? I had a little boy that hiked it last year. They're going, five, ten they're going up around I'll show you when we get up there. Asked they're going to go up around the mountain. Oh, yeah. 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 Y
great day for being in the snow <laughs> in April. Yeah. <laughs> April the 11th. Uh. Most difficult. I would disagree. It's not that hard, but I mean, it's probably not an easy hike either. I think the snow compounds with it. So half a mile in, we already took the wrong turn. <laughs> we did a, a side trail that took us to a road, forest service road that goes to the top of Roan High Knob, which is kind of funny, but it looks well-traveled. So I don't think we're the only ones that did it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're going back to trail now. If we were wondering who's collecting firewood tonight, I think we have a winner. Oh, <laughs> Ronnie almost hit me with that. She got a big old stick. Come on, come on, get your stick, let's go. <laughs> get your stick, let's go. Gotta make a fire. Come on. <laughs> you don't find that trail. <laughs> okay, so here, there's the blaze and then there's the trail that you're on and you just, you're supposed to turn, but we follow this. <laughs> wow. One of the things I'm kind of worried about is that I didn't expect there to be this much snow and Roan doesn't have booties or anything like that. So, I'm hoping our feet are okay. I'm glad it's a shorter day. And I think when we get to the shelter, I'm just gonna check them out and make sure she's, her feet are doing okay. Come on. Look at this Christmas tree forest. This is beautiful. That's what you brought? We got celery too. Actually, we got a sandwich. <laughs> There's like zero calories in celery. Oh, is there? Yeah, but it'll be. I mean, it's good for you though. Well, it, or it has nutrients in it. I mean, the celery might be bad. We got that, so I'll cook too. Look at this. You want a piece? Sure. One of my favorite things to do when I get to a forest like this is to smell, smell the, the tree. Just literally smell the pine. And smell the roses. Is that roses? <laughs> what kind of pine do you think it is, Dad? It's, it's not ponderosa. I don't know, but oh, it's like essential oil. It's like nature's, well, all essential oil is nature's essential oil, but it's free essential oil. It's beautiful. Roni? <laughs> Roni, are you being a good girl? You being a good girl? <whistles> good girl, good girl. I think she wants more celery. She's like, why are we stopping? I wanna go, I wanna go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Walking with a leash, it's definitely way more work than just hiking normally, but I think it's worth it. She's being oh, a really... No. Oh, no. oh, no! Just as I was saying, it's worth it. Look at the stick she's got. Look at this one. Look at this one, oh, Roan. What did you get, Roan? You got the firewood for tonight. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my. <laughs> another day, another stick. happy dog. She's a happy trail dog. Here she is. We made it to the shelter. Or at least the spur trail. Want to do it, Dad? It's up to you. You're the leader. I would love to see this. It's the highest. Oh! 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 Stop! 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 Roan literally just pulled me down. Like, I'm not kidding you. She literally pulled me down. 
Ron, you did that. You did that to me. You did that to me. Now I'm in the, now, now, now I'm sitting in the snow and I'm cold and wet. Ron, why did you do that? Oh. Ron. Never hike with a dog. No, I'm just kidding. Hike with a dog. Just don't get knocked down. Ron. I think she feels bad. What do you think? Do you think she feels bad? She wants to practice a rescue. First, man down. Man down. I was really trying hard not to fall today. Okay. Now I gotta get up. Out now, so Ron, help me up! Help me up! I'm gonna dig you out. Ron, I'm literally like, you see my shoe? My oh my gosh! How am I gonna get up? <laughs> it's on now. Did you hit the record? Yeah. <laughs> help! <laughs> I'm falling. <laughs> I don't. I literally am stuck. You gonna pull you up? <laughs> no, I got it. I got it. Keep recording. Oh. Oh my. I'm getting a spam call from top of the mountain. Oh, I don't answer. Those. I'm wet. I'm soaked. Uh, come on, Ron. Let's go see your shelter. Yeah. This shelter has been, I think, a mystery and legend for me for the past year. I've only heard about it. Apparently, it is the tallest shelter. I think it's the highest shelter in the AT. So, I'm very excited to see it. Down. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to make a little lunch. It's called West Memphis Grit Souffle. And I've never had this, but I love Packet Gourmet. This is my favorite brand. So I'm gonna try it out. I don't know if the shot's gonna work, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay. That to get my spin out. Real good. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Might have gotten a little bit too much water, but we're only eating, eating ice. Okay. Oh, it's just warm, and cozy, and nice. actually delicious. Wow. Wow. Oh, it was so good. I am 
I'm also going to make a little bit of coffee because why not? Got the water for it and hopefully we have the time. I think we do. If you are looking for a really good coffee, this is amazing. I will try to link this for you in the description. It was hard to find on Amazon, but this is like the Asian blend of Nescafe. It's called Blend and Brew. I had stuff similar to this when I was in Asia. They do awesome, awesome job. Oh, okay, it's, it's Malaysia, so. How did it go? Hey, great. It's steep, but it's good water. You got a pipe, you know. Cool. So be careful, it's steep. Okay. You go to the second place. Okay. That's where the pipe is. Cool. What? What? The grits will be done in a minute. Okay, well, I'm going to get you. You can have some of my grits. Some of the, uh, I'm making coffee too if you want some. Dad, what do you have for lunch? I've got tomato. I've got ham. I've got cheese. I've got buns. I got mayonnaise, just like eating at the country deli. <laughs> Making your own sandwich, huh? That's right. Except I'm just sitting at a foot of snow <laughs> <laughs> and drinking water out of the creek. That's another matter. Here, do you want some room on the table? <laughs> no, I'm going to just fill this all. All right, time for my coffee. You send a man to move, but they can't get a bag of clothes. Mm. That's perfect. This is a great lunch. We've come a long way from uh, what was that first lunch? I think it was chicken <laughs> tortillas, chicken in a bag. Did you like it, Dad? It wasn't too good. It, it, it maybe it survived. I survived. I packed all the food. Someone, <laughs> someone didn't have anything to do with it, and then he didn't like it. <laughs> the menu was kind of slim. The menu was slim and the food was heavy. Look at this goodness. I don't know about you, but I'm a grits girl. That is so good. This is not a sponsored post. This really isn't. Packet Gourmet. I'm literally not an affiliate, nothing. I just love this food. <laughs> so good. Mm. Publix Deli right here without the bun. I will save my bun for <laughs> supper. Oh, I only got one bun. So I'll, I'll, have a, I'll go all out and have supper with a bun. <laughs> Can't beat it. The Beast and Trail Dad. No, no, no. It should be start downhill for too long. Yeah, I think we have an up and a down. So. Probably the biggest challenge that we've had today is just the snow. Um, I didn't bring any kind of cleats or yak tracks or anything like that. Dad didn't either. And um, I actually don't have that much experience hiking. <laughs> I almost fell in snow outside of, I, mean, I did live in Montana and hiked a little bit out there. But last year, you know, we just had snow one day in the Smokies was the only day that I hiked. Um, so it does take a lot longer and we are a little bit nervous about, we picked this to go southbound because it's a lot of downhill, but actually downhill with, uh, snow or ice is worse than going uphill. So we may have kind of, uh, messed ourselves over, but we're just looking at the positive and we're going to make it even if we have to go slow or maybe even night hike a little bit. We will get there one step at a time. Right, Dad? That's right. We'll make it. <sighs> I found some old ruins and old chimney. We don't know if this was where the resort was, but it might be. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool, right, Ron? So we found it. The site of the Cloudland Resort. It was pretty. It was worth the tiny side trail. Also just noticed there's pretty bad smoke, so there might be a forest fire right there. We'll have to look that up later to see what it is. Dad said he heard about a fire in this area, so 
Looks like we can see it from here. Rome, you are gonna regret this. You're gonna regret this. Oh, there's the water, yeah, the old water fountain, I guess. <coughs> really? Come on, Rome. We found some bathrooms at the old Cloudland. Okay. There was one open on the back side, but all the other ones are closed. Dad said it's really disgusting. I got to turn around because I got a leash attached to me. Um, yeah, there's a huge parking lot here. And it's pretty cool. The water is off. For anyone wondering, it is April 11th, 2022. Uh, looks like maybe it's winter ice. I don't know if this works in the winter, but just in case you're hiking over here for water, this is the situation. I'm gonna, okay. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going in. Right. I hear it's terrible. It looks bad. Oh, it looks real bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, at least we're seeing a sign for Hughes Gap, so that's good. Mud? No. I think it's like four something. There's mud everywhere. And my feet did get wet. They are soaking with freezing cold water. So, but we only have four miles to go. So we should be okay. How are you holding up, Dad? Great, great. That's the day to do on the day after your anniversary. <laughs> Mom and Dad's anniversary was yesterday, by the way. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Good one. Ron is like not happy about this. I'm not happy about it either, girl. It is gross. <coughs> and you slip on every step. This would be a really easy hike. <clears throat> without snow on the ground. But it's challenging. <laughs> it is challenging. Yeah. I said there was fire in here one time. This is new growth coming in. It is a beautiful forest. And it's beautiful to snow on the ground, for sure. Wow. Really cool. They're melting, but they're there. Somebody coming. We were just talking about how grateful we are for whoever created this trail and whoever maintains this trail because they did a really good job and it is so nice to have these switchbacks and not be going straight downhill in the ice. So thank you to whatever mountain club serves this area. This is so pretty and Roan is loving it. She is loving it. Gosh, I see earth for the first time and I can't tell you how good it feels to have earth under our feet and then now we have more snow, but it is melting a little bit, which is really nice. It has taken us so much longer because um, you really have to look at every step dad was saying and make sure you're not going to step on something slippery, take a fall. So it's taken us a lot longer, but we are in an area where um, it's getting the icy stuff is melting, so that's good. All right, girl. Uh, this is music to my feet. It's really nice, really nice. Oh, she nice. She's so nice. Look at this trail. This is beautiful. And I see a bird over there. This is a thing of beauty. I love it. I love it. I love it. Huh? I see one over there. It might be a grouse. See it? Muddy shoes. Muddy shoes. Muddy dog. No, 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 no. You, can, you had this. I'll find a, I'll get a shovel and dig you a six foot hole out there trail is so much better than what we just hiked through. 
like night and day different. Even though I'm exhausted. <laughs> we have had three miles to go for maybe 18 miles. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but it literally, it felt like every time I look at gut hooks, it was like three more miles, three more miles, three more miles. It was a long three miles. We still have three more miles to go. I don't know how that happened. I'm exhausted. Anybody who starts in the winter, I have the utmost respect for you after this. I never hiked through snow like that last year on the trail. And it's intense. It was very slow going. So it was very snow going. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Um, way to go if you start your through hike in the winter. Kudos. Kudos to you. Through the trees, we can see a really pretty view. This is nice hiking right here. We just saw a bald eagle. Well, I didn't see his head, but dad saw it and it was making a weird noise. I've never heard before. I thought it was a grouse. And then we looked up and it was a big bird of prey. And dad said he saw his head and it was white. Poor Ron is, she's so tired. She's like dragging, she's walking. Okay, there we go. She got a little pep in her step. <laughs> but yeah, she's gonna be getting good rest tonight. Little doggy. Roni. Roni, are you having a good hike? Are you having a good hike? Yes. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Poor little dog. starting to hear the road now, which is always a great morale boost. Um, today's been super interesting because it started out, I was honestly a little bit nervous to get back on trail, but um, see how my trail legs were, I got the pooch, all of that. And to be honest with you, I think I've already said this, but I was not expecting that snow. That snow was crazy. Um, but we made it to a really cool part. Rona's not letting me go. <laughs> and the second little, I guess the second part of this has been, um, way easier. So we're a little over half a mile to get to the car. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be glad to get to the car. <laughs> I think the trail was farther than... We thought, I think it was over seven miles. I'm gonna have to check the mileage when we get to the car. Either way, it wasn't a super long hike, but you know, just with the elements and the new pup and everything else, it felt like it was very slow going. So anyway, we're gonna make it, we're gonna finish this. And we worked for these miles. So very proud to have finished this little section. We found a white blaze that fell on the ground. And I have always, wanted a white blaze that fell on the ground. That's so crazy. It was just like literally just the blaze. Is it going to fall apart? I don't know. I'll try to hold it. Let me see it. Whoa, cool. We are to Hughes Gap, or at least we can see it. We can see our car. It does. I see the trail. The trail's, oh, well, never mind. It must be like a switchback. Looks like people are making their own trail here. We are being purists. Don't want to have any regrets. Um, oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. It's been a long day. Beautiful day. I loved that area. But it's been a long day. We had heard that there were burritos down here, but I didn't get my hopes up because I know how that goes all that I also would have felt bad about taking one 
but just a little bit. But if they, you know, if they insisted, I might have taken a burrito. I'm not going to lie. But we're probably going to get a big salad or something at Mountain Harbor from the food truck, which is also excellent. I have never been so glad to see your car. I mean, exhausted. Whew. How you feel, Dad? Feel great. Really? You do better than me. Feeling better than me. Oh, Roan's like, let me in, let me in. You're out deep. You might get this over out of here. Oh my gosh, we made it. We're exhausted. Ron had a good day and we don't have service and we don't have gas, so <laughs> hopefully we make it. Here is the aftermath of the hike. The war wounds. <laughs> the feet don't look too great. <laughs> I don't look too great. Oh my so gosh. Fish. I don't think they need any more water. Even though soaking would feel really good with like Epsom salt. But they're pretty. Watch out, you put in wet socks over there. Yeah, they're pretty gnarly looking. Yikes. I'm sorry if you don't like feet, but this is pretty gross. <laughs> oh, they're very waterlogged. Another good thing is we made it to the gas station without running out of gas. Dad is getting gas right now. Thank goodness. Roan? Roan, how you holding up, girl? Roni, you doing okay? Heck of a day. Heck of a day. That's it good? Wonderful. <laughs> it's good for me too, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Can you leave it? Can you leave it? Nope, leave it. Can you leave it? Okay, good girl. There's syrup, um, pomegranate jelly, and apple butter, and um, <laughs> regular butter for your biscuits and whatnot, and the fine cheese. So that is the hostel, and then there's camping over there. Um, the food truck is right there. You can order things from the general store in there, and then you're right here on 19E. And if you follow this road up, you will get to the station at 19E. If you follow the road up a little bit more, you get to the trail at 19E. Trail. What? That doesn't take you to the AT. Okay, this is the campground. And then that's the tree house. Um, which I've never seen until now, so. And Dad just said that's a trail that goes up to 19E. So, people are hiking out up there, going back to the trail. And then there's a cute little camp, camp spot up here, campground. Little tiny one. Right there, there's where the tents are. Right here on the creek. It's beautiful. And this is the bunkhouse. It was still snowing hard, so I'm thinking there's some.
in the creek. Get your back foot. Your back foot needs some help. Okay. Did you get a little bath? 